Motor Week is made possible by Cars.com, Valvoline, and Goodyear. While erratic gas prices have shifted the interest of many buyers to cars, there are still plenty of folks who want a pickup truck that both works hard and plays harder. Among pickups, full-size light-duty models are the most popular, and that's why the pros at PickupTrucks.com targeted these big rigs for their latest wheel-to-wheel -wheel competition. So what we're doing with the 2008 PickupTrucks.com light-duty shootout is we're taking all the brand new 2009 model year half-ton pickups and we're putting them through a series of tests that we think are the most comprehensive tests that we can come up with to put these six different trucks together. That testing includes drag strip runs, both unloaded and towing 6,500 pounds of trailer. Ride and handling testing is done on an autocross course, while towing uses an uphill 7.2% grade. There's a fuel economy loop, also with and without trailer, off-road obstacles, split view coefficient traction testing, along with comparisons of horsepower, torque weight, and suspension travel. So one of the things we've done in our testing is we've really worked hard to make sure that the specs on all the trucks are identical, or as close as possible as we can get them. So in gross configuration, they're all crew cab 4x4 trucks with the largest V8 offered from each manufacturer. For 2009, two of the light-duty trucks in this test are new, the Dodge Ram and the Ford F-150. The Chevrolet Silverado and GMC Sierra both have upgraded powertrains, while the Nissan Titan is unchanged for 2009. An 09 Toyota Tundra was unavailable for the test, but it is mechanically the same as this 2008 model. PickupTrucks.com has been around for 13 years and is the web destination for information on everything related to pickup trucks. What I think we provide today is um, an unmatched site where people can go to find news and information about new trucks and existing trucks that no one else offers. It's pretty much a one-stop destination for truck owners and enthusiasts. So what did the testing reveal? Well, the new 6.2-liter V8 and six-speed automatic combo in the Chevrolet Silverado and GMC Sierra is impressive. Plus, the GM units came with an integrated trailer brake controller that avoids aftermarket installation hassles. The GM trucks battle the 5.7-liter Tundra for supremacy on the drag strip, narrowly prevailing at the end of the day. But due to minor equipment differences, the Silverado displayed a consistent edge over the Sierra. As for the Tundra, it did well overall in the performance competition, but it was also deemed among the least comfortable for short or long hauls with a very jiggly ride. The Nissan Titan also had an overly tight suspension, but it shined on the handling course, and it was by far the most fun with a looser rear end and very eager 5.6-liter V8. We just wish the interior didn't look so bargain basement. Being the top selling pickup, expectations were high for the new Ford F-150. But with a 5.4 liter V8, the smallest in our test, acceleration was among the slowest. Still, that small V8 and excellent six-speed transmission made the F-150 a winner in fuel economy. It was also tops in the hill climb and on the off-road course. Plus, it too comes with an integrated trailer brake controller. Finally, the all-new Dodge Ram. With its novel coil spring rear suspension, we expected better than average ride and handling, and no one was disappointed. Its 5.7-liter Hemi V8 also delivered great straight-line control. All like the Ram's super tough look, mostly solid build quality, and unique Ram box storage system. But when it came to the hill climb, trailering, and off-roading, Ram was less competitive. Clearly, picking a winner among this group will be tough. But the folks at PickupTrucks.com bit the bullet and selected the 2009 Ford F-150 as their best overall truck. The F-150 edged out both the Chevrolet Silverado and Toyota Tundra. The F-150's moderate V8 power was more than offset by overall livability, as no other truck did more chores better than the F-150. One other thing that's clear from this testing is that gyrating gas prices or no, there are still lots of reasons millions of Americans still love their trucks and will continue to do so.